Hello everyone, Gravity was here in 2018 Shanghai International Music Entrustment Exhibition. Yes, and now we are in the one country China booth, but in the outside. Because outside is quite quite quiet. Yeah, Mr. Brown Drew. Uh, he is the, one of the most famous and legendary effect maker around the world. Your own company called BJ and B and also a co-designer of one yes. yes. So uh, I'm glad to meet you here. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Again. Again. Yeah, again. It's a pleasure meeting you again. Yeah. The first question is, I hear this is the first time you've been traveled to Shanghai, China. Yes. Do you like the city? How do you like it? I like it very much. It's a, it's a beautiful city. Great it's an amazing uh, thing to see that okay, this, this is a city of, 20, of over 20 million people and yet there is such a It's something that amazes me is that at the same time you have all things that exist with, with things that are so so important to my eye. So um, the number two question is, let's talk about your paddles from very beginning. Uh, when did you start your first paddle? My first pedal? Yes. Uh, I think that was a, a, a distortion box I, I, I needed. A distortion box that wouldn't have a muddy, low D string okay. to make sure that it made the right overtones. Mm -hmm. and it, turned, it turned out that in order to get this, you need to have a high pass filter at the, the input to uh, uh, reduce um, low frequencies. The low frequencies. Obviously, the, the, the low frequencies will uh, create overtones in the low mid range. And then, what I wanted was can I get a distorted sound that has a high low end? Yes. That, that is. So, uh, I was working with this, with this filter and, uh, and change capacitor. And of course, I worked with the capacitor that I used, which was a, a styro uh, silver little thing. Uh, it's got to be some magic on this. But then again, the corner frequency, because I set the corner frequency, in this case it was 179 hertz. Okay, so if we uh, consider that the low D is about 70 hertz, uh, twice that would be 140. So, uh, we would at least lower the, 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 the low E by 6 decibels, so it would be half as loud as the other three. So that, that was just enough to make it clear. So there is, it is a real scientific answer. But at the time, like, like many, uh, I would say, uh, of course I looked at the capacitor. Oh, this is a great looking capacitor. And, and uh, I would say this is... This is typical, I guess, when you get into electronics. Uh, look at the beauty of the parts and the things that you use. Beauty of the sun wave, right? In a, in a, in a, in a sense, right? Room emphasizes the parts. But in fact, uh, uh, producing sound is, is very much science. So I can recognize this. That Sometimes people say, okay, this, this is a magic. Uh, uh, I looked inside this cluster and it had these transistors that look like top hats uh, or something. And they must have something magic. And, uh, and anyway, this is, this is a magic that should be embraced in a sense. But at the same time, we would have to also think about that sound is science. And, and understanding well, how, how to make sound is yes, sound. So this is... You realize the beauty of the circus and the sine waves. That's the moment you want to be your career of building patterns. Yeah, I, I, at the time when I was making that, it was maybe 1982, and I, I was in down a distortion box with which I could uh, do uh, rhythm parts. Of course, I play lead guitar, but, <laughs> okay. but, but when, when you play lead guitar, you also play a lot of chords, so I needed this for chords. Uh, of course, back in the day, then I, I had a super heavy distorted thing that I used for my hero uh, 
Yeah, lead sound. So, but that's a different story. But this time, I, I needed to have. Can I just have this and then do this perfect rhythm for me? And I did that for my, for my own. Uh, uh, yeah, just maybe a year later, I, I, I made the first pedal for somebody else. So that's the that's the moment or that's the trigger of you continue to building the pedals to be your career. So, so which moment, if you like, uh, building pedals or designing design circles will be the lifelong career. When I met my, my wife uh, in, in 1996, I had, of course, uh, built a whole slew of electronics for, for myself. I didn't think that much about it. Doing that as well. But it was my wife who said, Look, you're already doing this. Why don't you do it before? And so I started. And then there was this finished this computer and like, oh, we want to have this. And just a few months, months later, I delivered the first baby blue right? uh, love it. Yeah, but it, 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 it was okay, that, 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 that's fine. Uh, so I made uh, maybe 15 first month, and then 15 the next month, and then uh, a month after that, I called my district and said, okay, I need to make some different roads. You don't need anymore. Right. Uh, well, um, I have to figure out how to solve this because I was thinking it was better making guitar pedals than, than repairing now. Yeah. So, uh, what do I do? Uh, how about making a new model? So, um, the next day I called this and said, oh, yeah, I got a new model here. Uh, do you want to buy it? Yeah, sure. We'll take uh, $1,500. Great. <laughs> <laughs> At that point, I thought, well, maybe I should uh, uh, make a list of what I possibly could make. So at that point, I, I made uh, a list of possible uh, circuits I could make and worked on names and colors and so on, so that I would have a whole line. And of course, uh, most of this was just imagined. But uh, I didn't have any circuits in my head, really. I just had the power uh, and the function. That's enough. Uh, now I have uh, 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 a plan for the next 10 years. But I thought, I guess at that point, uh, I had really decided that no matter what, I'm going, I'm going to have to continue playing this. And there, uh, there was one thing that uh, that I considered very important these days. At the time, there were so many manufacturers I think, that, were, uh, that it would be difficult to compete. And I thought that the only way of competing would be uh, what if I could find something that other people don't make? Unique. If I find something that is not on the market now, then maybe I would have a chance. So uh, that's. Uh, yes. the baby, the, the, there was nothing similar to the baby blue when I went into it. I thought of it as a modern version of the fuss. Only my distributor said, you can't call it the fuss because nobody's buying fuss. So you have to, you have to call it the modern. Okay, okay. okay, okay I'll do that. Yeah. I'll do that. And also, just move to the next question you say. So now, uh, for the first time you do your first one, now you have uh, hundreds of uh, models in your dark line and one feature as well. So I, I guess it works the same way as, as, as I told you. Like, okay, so now we have enough stock of, of, of this model. Uh, this what do I do now? I'll have to think of something else. I'll have to think of something new. Yeah, this is what I want to ask. Uh, so, um, how did they, how do you feel, feel, the, feel the ideas, how those sparkling ideas in your mind and then how do you make it real into the circus and make it better? I do 
like this. Partly I do want uh, some experience from my own experience, experience as a musician uh, about uh, sounds, sounds that I want to uh, have. But uh, I also do something else. Uh, I listen to, uh, to my customers. And sometimes they, they would say something like, it would be great if you could do this. Like, it's a good, good example of that. So I had had a couple of, uh, uh, of friends over and they would come to my workshop and uh, just think of it. Uh, I always have something new and, and they like to be inspired and uh, as much musicians to see the new, the latest gear. Yeah. At the time I had uh, uh, myself my first workshop and I only did that because I saw, I saw uh, a video people playing martial arts on full volume and they were having so much fun that I thought I need to have it <laughs> I want the same kind of fun but anyway uh, my friends came over and, and they said look uh, that's a vintage sound you see the more and more of the sound there did you success every time did you success every time uh, if they ask you to make something no, 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 no. Uh, sometimes uh, I try to think of try to think of it this way. Uh, if if I find I think I can make sounds that I can understand myself and that I can understand the use of sounds that I don't understand the use of or don't specifically like. I don't think I can make them. So uh, I think somebody else much better at doing that. Good example. Right. So, we're the whole lot from, from, from that professor and notification to sign up the time for that. But then they want to have, they sent me a sound file. They were playing with the dumb one. They asked me, it would be cool if you could make the sound. And I felt that, I'm sorry, that's that's a sound I don't like. I don't understand it. I don't want to make it. I'm sorry, I'm not going to do that. So, uh, I, I, can, I can sort of make it, but then, no, I would like to, it. then I would like to have another angle to it. I think that the kind of sound sample you sent to me lacks a rawness. It lacks the rock and roll factor. It's, it's too smooth. I can't make it. I don't understand it. And so they found another guy uh, 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 in Finland who made it, and he made it for real. And, and uh, I played the, the, the pedal back, and yes, he made it. It's just that uh, I thought that uh, I didn't understand this. I, I didn't like it, so I said no. But then, of course, I thought I'll, I'll do an entry. Uh, so I did. Uh, uh, that was, if we're talking about this kind of sound, uh, personally I would have uh, much more like the sound that David Lindy would make. So, of course, but this had, had more of, a, of an edge. And, and with the first time I heard the Mercury Blues in, in, in the back seat of a car, I, I felt the shivers down my back. Like, this is a great sound. I like this. So, obviously, then, because I liked it, I wanted to make it. So, so the answer is no, I don't make it at all of it. Sometimes I say no, I don't understand. I prefer to make the sounds where, 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 where I can actually feel this. Yeah. I like this very much. With visions. With, 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 with real passion, because because if I can feel it with real passion, I can do it much better. And, and I think, I know for a fact that uh, when, I, when I do that, uh, uh, I've seen on, on the test position, I have, I've seen the response that uh, once I can invest a sort of passion into the circuit, mm. somehow it, it comes out to the position. Regarding to the product, uh, what kind of things do you bring to the Shanghai exhibition? stuff for one control or DJ so for this show the uh, it's a world premiere for for uh, the first one control amplifier I saw it you 
super box, right? And it's just a box. And it's, uh, it's an entry into the future. Uh, maybe interesting. If you say, let's say I, I this year designed a, a full 100 watt shoe cap for another company, but uh, uh, but now for one control, I make uh, uh, a two sister uh, amplifier. And the point is, uh, it's an entry in, 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 in the debate whether uh, you actually need to have tunes to make a great sound. I don't think so. Yes. Uh, and I think they have a certain distortion characteristic. Okay, we say that this distortion characteristic is a function. We take the function and then, okay, this is the, what is desirable. Let's make it uh, with uh, transistors and see if we can do that. And then, of course, uh, uh, something that I had to do with, it, with this amplifier was, of course, think it's let's say like this. It's the model for this is like a 60s uh, uh, guitar amplifier with tremolo and reverb, and it, it's not really built to do to do nice distortion, but it, it actually does a kind of ugly distortion, but yes. ugly in a nice way. Yes. Okay. Sometimes, sometimes ugliness is beautiful. It's, uh, but uh, so I looked at, at uh, the old film and I'm like I, I do have a direction in the 60s super which is kind of a holy grail mm -hmm. and it does something peculiar when you uh, set it at uh, six and what happens then is that uh, partly some there is some distortion in the, in the preamp but there is also some distortion in the power amp. So I thought that this is the desired function. But on the super reverb I can only get that if I if I set it at six. And, yes. and then, then it's very loud. Yes. So I would like to have, have this kind of sound but at the freedom of volume so I can have it in any kind of volume. Okay, so let's understand it backwards what is desirable. So there were there were functions in this that were uneven uh, the distortion and even distortion and even. so uh, I put all of these functions in, into the into the preamp and I was thinking okay what we need to where we need to be exact is uh, is in the uh, construction of, of dynamic distortion so for the for the uh, preamp it's made with the discrete transistors so that I can control the kind of dynamics of, of distortion. But then, uh, I didn't feel any, any uh, need of using a, a, a spring when there can be digital representation that can do that better. Uh, I didn't feel uh, that we needed to have uh, a true power amp when, if we look at it, uh, the function of it power amp being just providing volume. Well, in that case, we can use a, a class D amplifier, which is kind of difficult, but it's light. Uh, so, what it is, I first create the impression of the amplifier with the, uh, transistors, and then we add a uh, digital reverb, an amplifier with the class D. So, it's an ent uh, entry, and do we need to make cube amplifiers? I don't think so. Uh, my idea is that there are certain things about tube amps that you like, but th these are functions. So if you understand what, what the function is, you can take that uh, uh, without having all yes. the drawbacks. Like uh, the amp gets hot, it gets, gets heavy, and, uh, and you don't know what kind of that. And maybe it's so expensive and and fragile and uh, well, uh, whatnot. So. Uh, what if we can take the desirable functions? Uh, I hear that the stuff is you want to move the basic product line to the one control and then mainly focus on the multi knobs version or some prototypes or some custom shop stuff and uh, de developing the new stuff. Is, uh, I, I think that my idea has The demand for the has truly lost 15 years been uh, enormous. And it has always been at the point where it became really delivered, which is why uh, uh, the amplification started in the first place. Because
the sky for more than one and a half years. So, um, so um, my idea would be that uh, yes, I would like to have uh, sort of mass production, but then I'm thinking, at least in my experience, many of the ma uh, uh, mass produced things were made sort of like this is good enough. Personally, I would like to see it like this. If we make a cheaper version, uh -huh. it should also be better. Mm -hmm. Of course, if something is cheaper, it should be better. Yeah. Is there something wrong with that? No. 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 There's something very good about that. Mm -hmm. I think. So, uh, uh, with the uh, what I want to do is, is this: with the uh, what you asked me. Yes, we are um, considering having sort of a BGF classic line in in the one control where uh, we have started with just two models. Uh, but I'm thinking it, it would be good to have more of the basic models that there is a great want for, and of course. I want to make sure that these do exactly what I want them to do, as meticulously as I would on, on, on my handmade ones. I don't think this will mean that I will stop making honeybees, for instance, because there will always be people who, who would want to, what? To, to build it but, personally. But there is nothing that says that... Uh, 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 there, there might be so so many other people that can say I can't afford one, but I would mm -hmm. like to have the same uh, uh, sound. Sound, and there will there will definitely be uh, uh, professional musicians that would say I would never tour with one because what if it gets stolen? Yes, the only one. Uh, the only one. Yeah. Uh, so uh, for for that reason, well, let's make it in in. Um, in mass production, but also make the best possible. Mm -hmm. And I think uh, it is time to do that because I remember the 70s when when the when things were sort of they didn't have that vision. To, uh, they, they, the things were just basically good enough. But I think. Uh, in mass production, we need, we need to have uh, this kind of vision too, that this should be the absolute best uh, uh, possible. So yes, we're going to uh, uh, make uh, sort of a BGF classic line in one control. But that will not stop, of course, uh, the uh, evolution of new other exciting models that maybe just appears as, uh, as one controls and will never be, be BGF models other than prototypes. But so um, the idea of this is that the president of, of one control said, well, uh, we have a limitation. Uh, you can, we can only use uh, this many colors and, if, if, uh, and uh, this man, many uh, uh, variations of exterior. Mm -hmm. That would set a limit to how many, uh, uh, many uh, circuits you can make uh, at about 370 or something. Uh, and we got, what, 30 now? So I, I said, that's fine. 370 I think we can do in 10 years not a problem and, and I'm sure uh, that there will be uh, musicians that would say it would be cool if you do this mm -hmm. or that and they would say well I'll have a look at it if it's if, it, if it's if it's a great sound if it's something that that is inspiring to you by all means so this is why you want to cooperate with one control I want to cooperate with One Control because they can more or less do what is impossible, possible. Possible. Uh, the thing is, uh, many many of the cir circuits that uh, uh, that One Control has today uh, are of a type that other mass production systems that I worked with would have said, "No, uh, we can't make it." Uh, but I think that. One control has proven that uh, it is possible. I mean, I can work with discrete transistors, and of course there's a limitation, but, but uh, I can anyway do that. 
and I can work with with old working points that, uh, and uh, selected parts and all kinds of uh, things that other manufacturers uh, that I work with would have said, no, we can't do it. Uh, and I think that's amazing because uh, even so, a one control would, would have a, a, a larger minimum where they would start. So, I mean, some other companies I've worked with have said, okay, uh, uh, we need to be able to make this at, at uh, a minimum 500 units, to, otherwise, but uh, one control say a minimum 1,000 units. Okay? But then, of course, you have to make sure that the parts used will suffice to make thousands and thousands. So that, um, that of course, makes it so that I need, need to find components that would do the functions and that would will be available for. So obviously, uh, sometimes when I find exotic parts that are uh, there's only 300 of those. Maybe I make a big effort out of that because it's a it's a cool part. Yeah. So the next question uh, is from our friends. He said, "Did you think the the digital stuff will replace the all the analog circuits in the future?" I think an analog circuits, especially for for. Production of sound mm -hmm. will. Um, I, I think we will. We will, for instance, see tube amps for for a couple of decades yet, mm -hmm. uh, and it has to do with that the business in itself, uh, the music business, is probably the most conservative business of all businesses. Uh, so. Uh, for instance, back in ba back in the 80s, there were designers that thought um, tone controls are inadequate on on, 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 uh, on amplifiers. We need to have active uh, uh, tone controls, and so there were amplifiers made with uh, active tone, tone controls. Musicians said, "We don't like it because we don't understand it. We want it like it was in the old days." And I think. Uh, um, Specifically for the for, for, for the music business, it's it's a different thing than than uh, uh, for for an iPhone or, or a smartphone. Yeah, yeah. You will get the latest one that had the, or a computer. You'll get the latest one. You will download the latest one. And, and but for the music business, uh, it has been it's sort of a dinosaur in the sense that it, it, it it's yeah. it. You still have acoustic instruments that that are old, and you, you still use uh, old technology. Old old technology. It, there are few other businesses where, where it would have been accepted to use, except for uh, for instance in, in missile silos, you use uh, electron tubes because they cannot be uh, disturbed by. Uh, uh, electromagnetic waves. So that, that's the only reason that tubes are are uh, available in the first place. If there if there wasn't any military uh, use for them, then we wouldn't be able to use them. But um, I, I think uh, the future. I'm hoping that in, in the future uh, there will be better understanding. Or what is desirable? Let, let's say, let's say like this. Many musicians would say there is, there is a sort of tonal bliss when you play a tube amp at full volume. Yeah. Okay. Gives you something. Now, if you look at what, what happens with uh, what happens when you do that, you have an uh, an acoustic effect where you actually. Uh, feel the sound waves and that's one thing but uh, if you examine the, the sound uh, you can understand what, what kind of compositions are, are desirable to, to the ear and I think that in the future we can have better sounds more pleasing sounds I'm hoping this because uh, if you think of it as a, as a listener to music, you go to a concert. 
Now, there are people who say that uh, the audience will never hear uh, the, the extra 5% of, 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 of the extra fine year, but I think they will, because uh, if you have uh, uh, something really good, like the effect, uh, extra 5%, it will actually feed back to the brain of the musician, will make the musician play better, and then we will experience it, uh, then we will hear the musician playing better. But also, as a listener, Uh, in the audience, you would, would like to have the most pleasing sounds. Yes, of course. Today there are, are magnificent musicians uh, that that are such skillful musicians, but yet sometimes when they perform, they don't have have that pleasing sound. I'm hoping that in the future we can have uh, really pleasing sounds from from. So I'm also thinking that it would be hard to say that uh, in the future we will understand tubes better. <laughs> that's that's no, mm -hmm. that doesn't. Uh, in, in fact, uh, the most of the um, uh, intense studies on this uh, on tubes were done in, in, in German, and uh, and they were done in in the 40s and 50s. So. <laughs> Uh, but I think there would be better understanding of what is pleasing sound. I hope that. Better, un better understanding. You mentioned that the feature of the two amps, the feature of uh, the sound we want. Yeah. Yes. So I'm thinking mm -hmm. like this. I'm thinking it will in the future it will be easier. Like like if you hear a sound in your head, this. You know, if I can only really get that sound, I think it will almost be uh, possible to extract that from from your head. That is what. Uh, I'm actually working on something like that, but that's that's secret. That, it it is very very different, and and and, and uh, we will not see this 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 year. But. Uh, uh, I am hoping that uh, there will be a better there will be overall better sounds that's what I'm hoping mm -hmm. but if you ask me will, will this uh, will the uh, music business go, go under in 10 years and if everything replaced by uh, uh, air guitars no I don't think so it's it's uh, very much I can see there are, are uh, young, young people, very young people, that are uh, uh, taking on electric guitar. So there's a future for that, I think. I, I know there are, are, are some, uh, some, it, even older generation than I am, and, and they would they would say uh, electric guitar is dead. I don't think so. And and, and something I can see uh, at this show, uh, uh, as opposed to to what one would see in the USA, mm -hmm. is that uh, the quotation of, of women and men is is much more equal here, and and there are many more young people. And there are many, many young, skillful musicians. Uh, there are, of course, that in in, in USA too. But here is a more. Uh, it seems like it's more equal between uh, uh, between genders. So, the last question would be my personal question. Uh, what's your favorite patterns you made or favorite amps? The favorite, the favorite paddles you made, or or any all time, oh, mm -hmm. and amps as well. It is hard, right? Because you have a. It's impossible. Of... It's impossible. It's uh, something that comes to mind is what uh, 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 that I read that uh, somebody asked Jimi Hendrix, "What's your what's your best?" What's the best you ever did? And he said, uh, "That's my uh, latest album." Latest. Uh, uh, and he always said that. Invariably, it's the latest album. And 
I would sort of say the same thing. I, this is very important, you see. I don't believe in perfect. I can believe in approaching perfect, but perfect does not exist. If perfect would exist, then we, once we, we, we got to the point where things are perfect, there is no sense in going further. Yes. So, so for that reason, uh, perfect cannot exist. There can only be a, 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 a road to, mm. to, to, uh, to chasing, to improve. Chasing yeah. the, 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 the future. Yeah. So, uh, and, and then it's also like this. There are so many sounds that give me different types of emotions. If there would be one sound, It is a sound, when I was 12 years old, I had a dream that when I would be old or grown up, I would play electric guitar and I would have, I saw uh, this with, uh, I heard the sound that I was playing in my dream. And I was doing that with the, with the, with the guitar that was made out of metal. And that, when I woke up, I had this sound in my head. And at the time, um, uh, I didn't know how to play. I didn't even have a guitar or anything like that. So, uh, but that sound is still in there. So uh, maybe that's the perfect one. But uh, I don't know, I, there, there is a, I don't think I can say, uh, because it's like this. You find a, a, a sound, oh, this is great, this is the world's best. And then there's another sound, oh, that's also the world's best. But it's the world's best in a different way. It, it would be something like saying, uh, what's your favorite food? And then uh, you can eat that your rest of your life. No, it, there, there isn't any. Yes, 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 it makes sense. Yeah. Okay. yeah. So I, I guess other people might have that, but uh, I think it's, uh, uh, it would be a limit, and I don't want that limit. I, I want, uh, want it to be, uh, as I said, there can't be perfect. There can be a road uh, to uh, uh, development. And, and, and uh, of course, this is an existential thought that it's, it's, not, the, it's not the end. It's, it's, the, um, uh, um, it's the journey, and, 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 and in a sense, that would be like, uh, rolling a stone up a hill and then it rolls that back again. But 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 endless, endless. But yeah. but uh, it, it's a joyous ride. Yeah. So the experience of this journey. Yes, yeah, I think the ro the road is 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 uh, is challenging and it's uh, um, giving me new ideas. And I'll tell you this. On this road that I am on, that has brought me to Shanghai, where I get to meet interesting people and exchange thoughts and get new ideas. That's a good thing, I think. To see different culture and different countries, musicians, requirements. Sure. Yeah. But I'm going to have a head full of ideas when I get home, because I've experienced a lot of things and also also, I think I will have a, a, a clear view of where I want to go just because of some of the things you asked me. So, uh, thank you for that. Thank you. And you willing to come here next years or got any plans? Uh, there are no such plans, but it's fully possible. Mm -hmm. And if I was asked, I, I guess I would say uh, yes. Great, I'll come. It would be a pleasure, I probably say. So, see you next year, maybe? Let's put that a maybe, and, and it would be a pleasure if it actually happens. Yeah. How about that? Oh, yeah, thank you. I was curious about the painting of the black pad. Yeah. It was your ideas to draw the Swedish, Switzerland nature stuff, or just her own ideas? <laughs> uh, it was both, I think. We had it. It was more like a discussion about what 
should we have what uh, suits this sound? What, what is this uh, pedal? What does it do? So what's the... There, there's a story. Okay. Okay, it started with uh, already with the first model. And, and so we thought, uh, thought about, uh, I thought about this. Okay. Well, maybe we could, for, for, for this for this batch of ten panels, we'll, we'll write uh, uh, something funny on the bottom plate. Like, uh, uh, we'll take some quotes uh, from, from books or... or, or, or um, Titles of songs mm -hmm. or something like that, Some, something funny, mm -hmm. uh, uh, or, or maybe like uh, this is the number four, forty-two. Then of course we'll write uh, uh, this is the answer to the riddle of the universe in it mm -hmm. because of the Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy. But uh, <laughs> uh, things like that. So we would connect, it. and, and uh, at the point uh, uh, where <clears throat> where they got too many problems, they got they got to a point. Look, we're running out of quotes here. <laughs> <laughs> Not necessary, but it's, it's becoming <laughs> becoming such a tedious work finding something really good to <laughs> report. So uh, we, we have to think of something else. And 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 uh, uh, I think it was about I said, okay, maybe we can maybe we can have a drawing. Oh, that would be cool. And then we, we would have uh, uh, <laughs> thought, okay, but if we have a drawing, we must have a diff different drawing for 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 every model. And eventually, when we had, uh, had a, uh, when I had a lot of models, there was there was a guy who said that it'd be cool if if we, if we ever because she's an artist, if she could also, uh, but not working with it, uh, if she could make a painting uh, with all of, of the bottom plate drawings. So so we uh, so she did, um, and it was sold. At a going rate for uh, for an en uh, entry or artist, which was kind of good. So, uh, but this is another dimension uh, of which makes it uh, worthwhile having a kind of handmade production like this because it's it's. it's it gets to be a kind of a fun thing, like oh, this is a new model. What do we paint on the bottom plate, and how? Do, what? What is? How do we create the exterior of this? And, and then it becomes like a, a creative process in, in a sense, and it, it it keeps things fresh, uh, and it and it it does that on on on, on, an, on another level than than on component levels, which is. I think I need that because uh, I like to think of, of it in in, in 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 various levels, not not, not only start with sound, but then that connects with with, with uh, things. But it got to be a fun thing, so yeah. we, we created it, and, and uh, nowadays uh, we discuss this. Whenever it's a new model, okay, so what do we have on the bottom plate on this? Uh, there's also this, that there was this guy that, that had 50 uh, of my pedals and unscrewed all of them and, and laid them out, uh, uh, out on, on his floor. And then he emailed me and said, I want to know, what's the answer? <laughs> and, and, uh, uh, <laughs> there was no real intended like if if you get, collect them all and unscrew them and put them on on the floor and then you'll have the answer that is the gateway into the universe. There was nothing like that, or, or, or but, but mysterious. But but but, but of course, uh, uh, there was a theme mm -hmm. uh, that, uh, that, that the theme was that the limitation of things that are that, that can appear on the bottom plate. It, it, is that it would have to exist in the Swedish nature, mm -hmm. but even so, there can be a sheriff that exists in the Swedish nature because there is this uh, uh, kind of thing out in, in the Swedish woods where you can go and play, uh, play cowboy. It costs you a whole lot of money, but you can you can it, it, in a cowboy town. So there's also a, a, a sheriff on a model called Little Apricot One. Uh, 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 a brief as uh, L E W. So on the bottom plate, there's a sheriff that says, "I'm the law around here." You know, so the, uh, try to find kind of fun things to keep the fun 
mm-hmm. level. And something uh, that, that I have a, as an outlook and often say is that uh, let's keep it fun because otherwise it very swiftly get, get into a point where it, it, it gets ridiculously serious in, in a sense that often often you can have this that it can be, be serious that uh, we get, get into component levels so you have to use blue resistors and things like that I find that boring mm-hmm. but uh, yeah. so, so I, 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 I like to on a, on, a, on a show like this try try to keep it to be fun fun like okay yeah. this is this is fun we're laughing yeah keep it keep the patterns alive yes and yeah. keep because it keeps yeah, keeping the fun level like that keeps keeps the interest or, or the eagerness up so that oh, okay I, I do ha- have the strength to make the the next model I'm, I'm not going to be uh, locked down by uh, uh, convents that you can do this and you can you can't do that. Yeah, we'll, we'll just keep it on on a, on a fun level. So uh, okay, we'll just do it. It's impossible. Uh, we'll do it anyway. <laughs> okay, I think that's it. That's the the whole conversation. You, you, that's the whole conversation. Yes. And you, you got a ton of material. <laughs> <laughs> okay, great. Uh, Thank you for Thank you. letting me answer the, those oh, kind of questions. It, it was a pleasure. It was, a, uh, it was actually great fun uh, talking with you. Mm-hmm. Okay, so let's finish. Let's have some McDonald's. <laughs> okay. <laughs> can we can take a picture together? Of course we can. Uh, just give me the walk by.